And there's not a damn thing that you can do about it. Not a damn thing. At least right now. At least right now. And the reason you can't do a damn thing about it is because you're the one who brought it about through your stupidity. You're mentally crippled. You're operating from a position of ignorance, apathy, abdication, irresponsibility. And we're losing our country, our freedoms, everything. And these are these are strong accusations of the American public. What what do you hope to accomplish by angering the very audience that you want to watch and listen to you? Go prove me wrong. Go make me the idiot. In so doing, you're going to find out what the truth is, and maybe you'll wake your <laughs> up. <laughs> and if you do, maybe we can save our country. Because I don't really care at this point whether you get mad at me or not. My country's disappearing. My freedoms are disappearing. My daughter's going to live as a slave in the New World Order if you people don't wake up and help me. So, if I had a two-by-four, literally, I would smack you upside the head with it. I don't care if you get mad at me. It's beyond that state. You know, I'm willing to put my life on the line. Why would I care if you get mad at me? Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, people say, well, don't you feel threatened? Don't you feel like your life is in danger? Are you kidding? You're the people who sent your sons and daughters to fight an, an illegal, immoral, unjustified war in the Middle East? And that didn't bother you a bit that they might have got killed over there? And you're worried that I might get hurt or killed right here, really defending my country? Mm. Really fighting in the defense of the Constitution? Right.